everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Crammy Crochet. <laughs> I can talk. And I'm on my second cup of coffee. <laughs> Welcome to the dining room. This is my Powered by Yarn mug. Uh, by Coffee and Yarn. <laughs> that my daughter got me. And I totally love it. Uh, so, what's been going on? I can tell you, I want to thank everyone that is participating in the Bogey Camp uh, blanket. I gotta back this up a little. There we go. In the Bogey Camp um, blanket drive that we are doing, uh, Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2 and Billy the Crafty Floridian and myself and all of you wonderful people. We had um, an unboxing of blankets last night on, at Billy's house. Uh, we're doing it every other Thursday unless we get too many blankets that it would be uh, you know, take too long to, to open them all at one time. Uh, but we have, I think, over 150 blankets now. Uh, and several people are, you know, sending more in, more in. Uh, it, and I am just overwhelmed. I'm just overwhelmed. The amount of um, pride I have in our community for coming together and supporting these kids at Camp Pogey Creek. Um, it, it, it's, uh, we've only been doing it for a few weeks and, uh, Nancy opened, I think over 40 blankets yesterday. Uh, we're sending them to her. Uh, her mom got us into this. <laughs> it's all Sue's fault. <laughs> um, but it's a wonderful thing. Um, Camp Boggy, uh, Boggy, it's not Boggy, it's Boggy. Camp Boggy Creek. Well, um, just real briefly, is a camp for kids with illnesses, kids that would not ordinarily be able to go to camp. Um, there's a limited amount of children allowed each week. Their families get to go for the weekend. Uh, and these are kids that are, are sick. They have leukemia. They have respiratory diseases and have to carry oxygen with them. They, um, they could not go to another camp. But... Uh, Boggy has staff on staff uh, each each week. Uh, they have medical staff there for the illness that they are allowing the kids, you know, like each week it's a different illness. Um, <clears throat> so this week it's maybe kids with pulmonary disease. So there's pulmonary children's pulmonary doctors on staff and nurses and whatever to take care of those kids. And they can get their medications and they can play and be normal kids. Chokes me up. Um, their video is always linked since we started this. Uh, I've had their video linked in my description box of all my videos. So please click on it. Uh, if you can donate a blanket, that's yay for you. If you can't, we just appreciate any support. Even if it's just watching us unbox, that's awesome as well. Um, and see what everybody else is making. Beautiful, beautiful blankets. Oh my goodness. So inspiring. And I was inspired. <laughs> I haven't, I, I have, I have, I think five completed that I have had. Some that were already in my house uh, and one or two that I've made. I've sent off several just this week to Nancy. They weren't in the unboxing yesterday. They'll be in the next unboxing. I told her don't even unbox them because I've showed them already. Um, but she said she's probably going to unbox them anyway. <laughs> like, whatever. Um, oh, hold on. You guys, I'm going to vent here for just a second. I answered a phone call. I have... Um, I have some personal stuff going on and I'm expecting phone calls from people that I don't know that aren't in my contact list. So I answered a phone call. That has opened up. It wasn't a phone call that I was expecting, but that opened up such a can of worms. Every three minutes, I'm getting a spam phone call from the same company saying they're different companies. I know it's the same spammers because they all have the same voice. <laughs> And every three minutes, I'm getting another phone call. I'm like, good Lord. Uh, it's driving me crazy. I like want to change my phone number. And it's only been happening for like two days. 
every three minutes I'm getting another phone call, another phone call, another phone call. So if I keep hitting the screen, like if you keep seeing my finger coming at you, it's because I'm getting another dime, dog gun. I don't know how to stop it. I keep blocking, but they keep calling. You know how those robo calls do. They just pick another phone number to call from. So, all right, I'm rant over. Um, I hope you guys, none of you are going through that ever because it's aggravating. Is I'll get you run to the phone because you're expecting a good, important phone call and it's that stupid spam again. Uh, so anyway. Uh, back to the Boggy Creek. So they were some really awesome blankets being opened yesterday. Um, a woman named Star sent in some gorgeous grannies. And um, I was in, before I broke my arm, I was in the process of going to start another uh, a Boggy Creek blanket. And I had picked, remember I had purchased this yarn at Michael's and I said, I, went, I bought it specifically to do Boggy Creek, and I thought maybe I would do Mile a Minute. Um, and I was going to pair it with this dark green. Uh, the greens aren't exactly alike. They look more alike in this form than they do in the blanket, but I still think it looks good. Um, but I did start it. And because Star did such beautiful work with Granny Squares, and... If I'm going to do a mile a minute, I have to watch uh, a tutorial or two because I don't know a, grand, a mile a minute pattern off the top of my head. And I really didn't want to, I'm not in the mood to do that. Uh, not that I don't love watching people's tutorials when I, you know, when I need to. Um, but I thought, <laughs> this was after Boggy Creek last night. <laughs> I thought... You know, it, uh, so it's late, and I thought, I don't want to research how to crochet a blanket. And Star made such beautiful blankets. Not that all of them were not beautiful, but I knew I could do, uh, with the yarn I have, I could do a granny square blanket. And I don't have to watch a tutorial. <laughs> and hers were gorgeous. So, I started with this. And I incorporated this. Uh, so this is, by the way... Uh, it looks a mess. It's really not as bad as what it looks. Uh, this one should go under the ball band. Um, anyway, this is impeccable. Uh, I bought it on clearance for two bucks uh, from Michaels. Regular five on clearance for two. 187 yards, uh, three and a half ounces. That's equals 171 meters at 100 grams for weight. Machine wash acrylic. Um, I'm trying to see the color. This is called Tropical Fruit Variegated. Um, I'm going to tell you, I really love Impeccable's variegated yarns for mixing and matching solids with them. There's lots of colors in their variegated yarns. Um, so you can see you have white in here, you have a lime green, you have some kind of like mint green. Then you have this like teal, dark green, dark teal green, um, which when I bought this in the store, I thought it was regular green, but it really, when you get into, like I got some sunlight coming in, it's a teal. When I put it up against, this is like grass green, crayon green, the colors are different, um, way more different. And, We've had this discussion before about the fact that I might be a little bit colorblind. <laughs> um, so the colors are not the same, but I still think it looks okay together. This is that yarn that I was I used to get from the uh, discount store, the store that's like Ollie's, that's called Mark's. It is, I'm 99% sure, Red Heart Super Saver. It is the old Super Saver that's not as soft, but we know it washes up good, so... And it drags around the floor well <laughs> if you get a sick child that drags their blankies around. Which I'm assuming some of these kids are going to be like that. Um, so that'll be a real good yarn. This yarn that I'm also using is also from my Mark store. Now this is more like Red Heart with Love. It's much softer and I just love the color. These would come with uh, two in a pack. I've used the others of the of these two packs. <laughs> I use the other, but I have another pack of this. They don't list color names. Um, so you just have to go with what you got. So I have these two colors. 
Um, so these three colors. Now the mint green in this and in this are very close, I think. Uh, let's see if I can get a greenish there. Uh, the impeccable is a little bit lighter, but it's very doable. And then I am using, and this is, uh, and I'm holding two together. So this is Pound of Love in white uh, from Lion Brand. And they're caked up because I had, uh, I had a Pound of Love and I uh, was making something frogged it and wound it up and put it in the same bag with the pound of love. So I knew it was that, but it's the thinner. You know how pound of love used to be, they call it a th four weight, but it was really kind of felt like more like a three weight. So these are thicker uh, four weights. Um, the red heart and the, the impeccable is probably more four, four, but uh, this is a little thick on the four weight. This is uh, maybe more standard, but thicker four weight. Definitely thicker than the Pound of Love, because that's the old Pound of Love. So I'm holding two together on the Pound of Love at this time anyway. <laughs> uh, if I have to go to a new Pound of Love, maybe I would not uh, hold them together. And I went with this pattern style. Variegated square and then uh, a mixed square. And I'm crocheting them together as you go. You know I love to do that. So this is what it looks like so far. Tell me what you think, I'm really interested. Uh, so I'm joining with the white to brighten it up because that dark green is kind of dark. But this is what we got so far. So the variegated and then the solids. So then I'll do a variegated under this one. You know, it's gonna go that way. So I think I have five across. Um, variegated, solids, variegated, solids variegated and then do the reverse and make it look like that and um, just pray that I have enough of the variegated <laughs> because that'll screw up my whole pattern if I don't and then I don't know what I'll do uh, I have six of those they're 187 yards in in one skein and I have six so I'm hoping that that will be enough and that everything will be hunky-dory and I can complete this blanket. So I started it last night. Um, I played around with different, how did I want to do it? The blanket that I liked the most that Star had done, there were several I was drooling over, but the one that she, that she, that I liked the most was doing salad grannies. And then she had two different colors that she was bordering them with. Um, that were in the variegated, or they were, it wasn't, it was, looked like this, variegated, one, one variegated. Uh, all of them were variegated except for the um, last row was a color in the variegation. So she would do the variegated row and then the outside was the mint green and then a variegated granny and the outside is the, this green. But all the grannies were, salad like salad variegated and then she alternated the way she put them together with the outside color being different and I totally loved that I don't think I have enough of the variegated to be able to make a whole blanket in it so this is what I, I went with my second choice of what she had and I totally love that um so that's what I'm doing I have one more and uh started because next I have to do, I think, yeah, next goes with the green. I even thought of maybe do some, but I only have one of this color. So that's why I'm doing the insides all this color. Because I had thought about alternating and doing some with the dark green in the middle and some with the light green, you know, the mint is the outside. Because I really like the mint better. Um, but this is my only... And I have a lot of the dark green. So we have to go with what we have, right? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Uh, and I'm very excited about it. And um, 
I put it in my book. It's, I think, the last page of my book. Uh, so I'm going to start writing on the back, maybe. I don't know. Or just add and clip in extra pages. Because I don't want to start a new book until, until next year. And I don't have any more little books like that. So I don't know. Big decisions, big decisions, I know. But that's the biggest decision in my life. Yay for me. <laughs> so that's what I have with Camp Boggy Creek. Um, anybody that and everyone that is participating or joining in, sending in blankets, sending in well wishes, um, you know, encouraging other people to make blankets if you can't make them yourselves, thank you so very much. Uh, just for watching and uh being a part of the yarn community is, um, it's indescribable to me the way that the yarn community gets together and helps each other and helps others and um, just kind of joins. Uh, I, I, I love it and I am grateful to be a part of it and I am grateful for all of you that make it that way. So uh, thank you so much. Um, I can't express enough how being a part of this community enlightens my life, brightens my life. Um, and I don't know what I would be doing without you. <laughs> so uh, anyway, thanks for being a part of this. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, tell me what you think of the colors. I think the greens are good. I think it's, I think it's okay. Um, I don't think it looks out of place, but like I said, you know, I don't think my, I don't always think I'm see the colors the right way. So tell me what you think before I get too involved in this blanket <laughs> and then y'all say, Oh God, no, don't do that. Um, but please be honest because honestly I need that. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to make another video here in a minute, but I didn't want to take away from Boggy Creek for other stuff. Um, because I'm very excited about this blanket and everything that's going on with uh, Camp Boggy Creek and you, and you, all of you. So thank you again, um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.